This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It's become very concerning and a huge eyesore. Two abandoned motels in downtown Reno will be torn down after a unanimous vote from the city council today, and that is tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. Kristen is on assignment, but we will check in with her later in the newscast. Well, the Golden West Motor Lodge in the Hart O Town Motel will be demolished after a 4 nothing vote by the city council. Council members Breckis, Dewar, and McKenzie were not present. Paul Nelson was at today's meeting and joins us live from those properties. And Paul, this decision did not come without controversy, though, did it? It did not land, and in fact, many were at the meeting today. They said that the owners should pay for the demolition or sell it to somebody so that they can refurbish the motels into low-income housing. Instead, the city will pay about $217,000 to tear the buildings down and put a lien on the property. After sitting vacant for nearly a decade, these motels now have a date with the wrecking ball. The city's two options were to leave them boarded up or tear them down. My fear is, is that that property remains blighted for a very long time if we don't take it down. Northern Nevada Urban Development owns the parcels, and while city leaders say they tried to work with the investors, they got very little cooperation. If you're a property owner that doesn't take care of your property, knowing that you're just sitting on it for profit gains, and it's hurting devaluing other people around you, then you're a slumlord in my eyes. The decision was postponed more than two weeks ago. That gave Haberay Homes and Development a chance to offer $1.2 million for the three parcels. That and its $2.4 million offer for the entire block were turned down. Haberay's plan was to convert the buildings into 55 affordable housing units. Affordable housing doesn't have to be yucky, ugly housing. Every project we've done in this town has been affordable and are quite nice. Many spoke in opposition to the council's decision to raise the motels, saying tax money should not be used to pay for it. The city will get the money back when the property sells. If it's not paid back in three years, it can take control of the land. It's really important that we have more leverage on that parcel of land than we would ever have before because of this action. For some council members, the decision was based on quality of life, economic development, and public safety, since the property is right downtown in the university district. I have students all the time telling me that they hate to walk past it because they've had homeless sleeping there, they've found needles, and so we're really trying to take an aggressive approach um, to downtown. The city manager says revitalizing downtown Reno is the number one priority for its residents and says that tearing down these motels could be a catalyst for that. Demolition is expected to begin sometime next month. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.